and here you learn how amino acids form dipeptides and therefore polypeptides. Amino acids are joined together by a condensation reactions. Here's my diagram of an amino acid. I'm going to label this one up as amino acid one and I'm going to label the R group number one. And let's label this other amino acid as amino acid number two with its corresponding R group as R group number two. So amino acid one plus amino acid two. These amino acids are going to join together by a condensation reaction. And the reaction will take place between the available hydroxyl group of the carboxyl end of amino acid number one and an available hydrogen from the amine group of amino acid number two. And as we can see, this results in the removal of H2O, that water molecule. And the bond formed linking that carbon and nitrogen together of the respective amino acids is known as a peptide bond. So overall, we have this dipeptide. Di meaning two because of the two amino acids. And peptide is the name of the bond that links them together.